this is uh, Shonen Jump, which I assume is based on the magazine. I think a couple of my friends read this in high school. Uh, as far as I can describe it, it's like heavy metal magazine, except for anime and manga. And this is in perfect English. Alright. Oh shit! Oh god, I don't even know what this is. And there he goes, into his magazine. Goku? That was the guy from Ultimate Muscle, I think. I am not familiar with any of these colorful characters. That looks like Jojo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can't read that. It's, a, it's an alligator pirate talking to me. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting more like a turn based RPG from this overworld. I'm gonna punch you. I'm dead again. Oh, or, or did I kill him? What does that mean? Oh, I did something. Is that radar? Did something with my radar. The visuals are about on par with Final Fantasy Dragon Warrior. So, except it's an action game rather than a turn based RPG. I think I'm killing those guys. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm killing him. Does that guy want to help me? He looks friendlier than the other guys. Cowboy. I don't know what's going on, guys. Oh, I hate this. Well, it's got a colorful overworld, I suppose. Graphics are decent for a NES RPG. I've seen better, but actually, I'm not even sure that this is an RPG. I'm just assuming from the presentation that it is an RPG. And we've found a town? I think? Or something? That looks like a cowboy to me. Oh. 60,000 60, watt. Yes. Oh god. What's going on? Oh shit. That I'm dead. I died.
So Shonen Jump, or Famicom Jump as it says on the cartridge, is what I believe to be an action RPG. It certainly plays like one, it reminded me of Secret of Evermore, the way that it had Final Fantasy styling, but with a more action-oriented combat system. There were lots of recognizable Shonen Jump characters like Goku and the guy from Ultimate Muscle, and it had a complex and a seemingly unique menu system for the time. The visuals were average, sort of reminding me of Final Fantasy and Dragon's Quest, and the music was repetitive. But it didn't really get on my nerves, it just repeated a lot. There is a lot of Japanese required to play this game, so if you know Japanese and you're a fan of Shonen Jump, I don't see any reason not to pick this game up. It seemed like a lot of fun. Alright, today we are looking at Challenger. I hope it doesn't explode on me. Anyway, the label art looks like Indiana Jones fighting Magneto over Princess Leia. So, if this is anywhere near as badass as the label art uh, leads me to believe, then this shit should be for real. So, let's check it out. Okay, let's give that one more try. Stop the express. So far, this is your basic throwing knives at birds and midgets game, so nothing to write home about. Flying up and down birds are crazy. Alright, now I just need to hit this midget in the face with my knife. Got him. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. These are tricky. Hope these are the only enemies that are in here. Hmm. 
Oh, you dick. Search for princess. Alright, so we're just searching the countryside, killing stray dogs. Story of my life. Oh, shit! bushes. Got it. Nope, that guy kills you. Alright, now we know. Okay. This is how you learn. You roam neighborhoods, kill stray dogs, and get killed by skeletons. just out in the wilderness killing people. I feel like I'm not playing the hero, but some sort of psychopath right now. I don't feel good about it. I'm out in the wilderness in a cowboy hat, just killing guys, stabbing stray dogs. Oh shit, I'm on a timer, I didn't even realize. Oh god. You can't kill the fire! Oh shit. Challenger was a fast and frantic arcade-style platformer that has a visual style that has aged well in my opinion. It's difficult, but very forgiving with the lives, and honestly I played it for about 20 minutes, and I had to cut a lot of footage out for time, but that gives you an idea of how much I liked what I played. There seems to be a lot to it, since after I finished the train level, there seemed to be an overworld level that linked to other levels, so I'm sure I'm going to go back and play a lot more of it. It was very easy to understand, to pick up and play, and I don't think any Japanese was required, so if you like this kind of game, action, arcade type platformers, I'd pick it up. It seems really fun. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching!